This is a quick video for semi-batch reactors. So, a semi-batch reactor is just, it's basically just a bucket. And we're going to say we have A in the system, initially. And what comes in is B. So we have B coming in. And it's going to come in at some volumetric flow rate, nu naught. So now, if we were to do a mole balance around the system, a mole balance around A, so we're going to balance A, balance A. Well, the just general design equation for a balance of A, or not design equation, but just the general balance is the, the molar flow rate of A into the system minus the flow rate of A out of the system plus the integral of RA dV must equal the change in the moles of A of A with respect to, respect to time, dt. Well, we have no A coming into the system, so that's zero. We have no A leaving the system, so that's also zero. So what we end up with is if we just integrate this, we get RA times the volume is equal to dNA over dt. Now, if we remember that the moles of A, well, that's also equal to the concentration of A times the volume of the system. So what we then get is D bracket concentration of A times the volume bracket over DT. Well, if we just we can break this up by holding each one of these variables constant. So what, what I mean by that is we can have the volume constant times the change in the concentration of A with respect to time plus the concentration of A times the change in the volume with respect to time. So if we do that, what we get is we get the reaction rate of A times the volume is equal to the volume dCA all over dT plus the concentration of A dV over dT. So now, if we do a, a volume balance around the system where the volume is equal to the initial volume plus nu naught or the volumetric flow rate into the system times time. So if we take the derivative of this with respect to time, what we get is dV over dt is equal to, well the initial volume is never changing, so that's zero, and the only thing that's left is v naught times t, well if we take the derivative of that, that's just v naught, or nu naught, not v naught, nu naught. So now we can plug nu naught in for dV over dt right here. So we can plug this in for right there. So what we get is RA times the volume is equal to the volume dCA all over dt plus the concentration of A, whoops, supposed to be an A there, times nu naught, nu naught. Now the next thing I want to do is divide everything by V. And the reason we want to do that is it will just simplify it just a little. So if we divide everything by V, the volume, we get RA dCA over dT plus concentration of A times nu naught all over the volume. So now if we just move this over here and then flip the equation, what we get is we get dCA, the change in the concentration of A with respect to time, is equal to RA minus CA naught, or just the concentration of A, times nu naught all over the volume. Now, the volume is equal to this. So what we're going to do is plug this in for the volume. So we then get, for the design equation, we then get DCA, the change in the concentration of A with respect to time, is equal to the reaction rate of A minus the concentration of A times the volumetric flow rate into the system divided by divided by the initial volume into the system plus the volumetric flow rate into the system times time. So this is the design equation for a semi-batch reactor.